Here are four signs to tell you that you have a progressing kidney problem or you have a progressing decline in kidney function. The first one is a change in the taste in your mouth. You see, when toxins go up in your body, it changes your taste buds. It's a kind of feels like when your mouth tastes when you get malaria, that kind of metallic taste in your mouth. When your kidney function progressively goes down or progressively worsens and you're losing nephrons, it causes buildup of, of toxins because your kidney is not capable of getting rid of all the toxins from your body. And that changes your taste buds and make your mouth feel weird or taste weird. It's similar to how your mouth tastes when you have malaria and you try to drink water. Something like that. So if the taste buds in your mouth is tasting weird or giving you a different sensation, think about progressing kidney dysfunction. Number two, when you have mental fog, you can't think clearly. You used to be very sharp, but now your brain doesn't recall information like it should, or you can't think through things clearly. You see, the kidney is in charge of getting rid of urea. Urea is a substance our body makes when we break down protein, when the good bacteria in our body feeds with protein and metabolizes, the byproduct is ammonia. Ammonia goes to the liver, the liver changes ammonia to urea, urea gets to your kidney, and it's supposed to be excreted from your kidney so that it does not accumulate. When you have too much pile up of ammonia or urea, because the kidney is not able to get rid of urea and it keeps accumulating, it travels to your brain and it gives you brain fog where you are not able to think clearly or recall information quickly. So that should be a sign. If you are not as sharp as you used to be, go check your kidney function. It could be the culprit. Number three, when you have ammonia breath, the same way you breathe and someone says, hmm, your breath smells like urine. You should think about your, your kidney function. Because when the same ammonia that is turned to urea by your liver gets to your kidney and it cannot excrete or get out of your body, it piles up. And your body tries to get rid of it because the body always tries to get us in the homeostatic state. The body likes a balance. It doesn't want a state where things are not in order. So it may come out through your breath trying to compensate for the kidney dysfunction. And your breath may start smelling differently, smelling like urine. So someone says, hey, your breath smells weird. You should know that the ammonia, that was a byproduct from protein that your body broke down and traveled to your liver to be converted to urea for your kidney to excrete it is not able to happen because your kidney is holding on to those urea because it's damaged or the functionality has gone down and therefore the body in an attempt to balance things or bring you to a homeostatic state tries to get rid of it through your breath because breath breathing out is one of the ways that we get gaseous things out or toxins that are, can be carried out through gases is another way to get it out so that is number three ammonia or urine breath right and then number four is shortness of breath when your kidney is not functioning right it wouldn't be able to balance water in your body. So you have more water retention, meaning you have more water in your system than necessary. And always the body trying to get a balance. And because most likely you have electrolyte imbalance, where sodium especially is at places where it shouldn't be, wherever sodium is, it draws water with it. So most likely some of the water in your body has moved into your lungs, covering some of the breathing surface area and giving you only a small amount of room for you to exchange your gases, right? When that happens, your body tries to compensate by making you breathe faster. So it's catching up with demand and supply, right? Your body is demanding a lot of oxygen. You don't have enough surface area to breathe. Therefore, your body tries to breathe faster, to exchange gases faster, to compensate. So your breathing could be going up and because you're not having adequate time, for gases to exchange so that you have enough oxygen into your body you could become short of breath 
simply meaning you don't you can't catch a breath you don't have enough oxygen in your body to work because your breathing has gone up try to compensate and it's not giving your body enough time to catch up and recover and then breathe again so your breathing goes up in attempt and you begin to fall short of breath another way could be that the buildup of that urea in your body and that ammonia is so high that your body attempting to achieve a homeostatic state again or a balance again is causing you to breathe so fast so you can get most of that ammonia out in terms of you know controlling that level so it will cause you to breathe fast and when it's um, your surface area is covered with fluid because you have water imbalance you know that is like from frying pan to fire, right? It messes the whole thing up and before you realize your brain is not having adequate oxygenation to your brain and you may have kind of a respiratory arrest going on or you may even become lethargic because your brain is so foggy that it cannot be alert enough to communicate with people. So kidney infection can cause you to have something similar but a decline in kidney function because of toxins, because of several other conditions, untreated high blood pressure, because of diabetes, because of several factors can happen. So pay attention to your kidney, pay attention to your urine, what comes out, the volume, the color, pay attention to your body, your breath. All those things work together because no organ in our body works in isolation. You see how your liver gets the ammonia from the protein breakdown mixed into urea, sends it to your kidney to get it out. It's all in sync and orchestrated the way our body was designed to do it. And it's a feedback loop. So when this is not working, this backs up, you know. So you, you have to pay attention to your body. There's no other way. And you're the only person who can advocate for yourself that way. I hope this has been helpful.